Hi, this is Rhea O'Donnell, the Director of Novel Suite. Thanks for registering for a demonstration of Novel Suite writing software. I'm very glad to have you here. Like the vast majority of writers, it is more than likely you are currently using technology to work on your book, whether it be Microsoft Word or even a more niche program that is built specifically for writers. But naturally, as the innovative people writers are, you are always looking for better ways to manage the many moving parts of your story. Novel Suite was designed to help you do just that, to have the core word processor built into the same system as the rest of your information, such as characters, settings, events, and even research, making sure you have everything available at the click of a button. This is a complete content management system managing almost every component of your stories, and it is being continually developed to incorporate new features all the time. So let's log in. This takes us to the main menu page, which you can always return to by clicking on the logo here. Once you've created a Novel Suite account, the first thing you need to do is create at least one book. You can change the details later, but it is essential that you create a book before adding information to any of the other sections. Using the sidebar menu, let's click on Novel Board and then Add Book. This will open a new page for you and add the details of this book. All the details can be changed or updated later if you wish. Here, you'll give your book a title, select a category if you wish. We'll add this one to Fantasy. This is usually for writers who have lots of books on the go at once, so it helps them to filter the information later. Upload an image to represent your novel or your cover design if you have one. Then we're going to write a brief blurb about the book in this little preview section and we will save changes. Now, as you can see, the details are visible here and this is where you can then go to add chapters, edit and so forth. The novel board is usually the main place where writers tend to draft all their work. So now we have a book created. But you can see here that I have several books that can be selected from the drop-down menu. So we need to populate the information. First of all, I'll quickly go to one of the writing templates here to add the starting out information. However, if you're already quite involved in your novel, this may not be necessary. I'll show you how to import your current information in a moment. We'll title this one Starting Details, select the book Nothing to Fear, and now we will add a quick summary of the story we have in mind. Identify the main character, who and what will oppose this character, what will be the main events that drive the story, the overall story journey, and how you will capture your reader's attention. Once we've populated this information, save the changes and it will appear in the My Saved Templates section. Now the next useful template to use here will be Structure. Your novel is a working document, so collating the details here in structure will align your plot to allow you to quickly identify any potential problems that are going to come up. Even if you have a story partially written, it is an excellent exercise to fill these in. So again, we will add a title and choose a book. Then we can outline the key events, so we get a snapshot of the overall story and really begin to understand how we will need to pace the book. Here we're going to go into a little more depth, so we'll start with a snapshot of the protagonist's current life, followed by an external event that happens outside of their control and sparks the character's journey. A newfound desire overcomes the protagonist. Then we'll consider their first plans to resolve these, the following series of complications and so on. Once that's all been filled in, save changes and you'll then see the template named Plot here in the template list under Nothing to Fear. Taking these plot points, I'm now going to add them to the novel board. What I'm going to do here is open a new tab and log in. So this way I can simply take these points and add them as chapters. At this stage, I'll just make the chapter titles similar to these. So now we have these points plotted out here on the novel board. The novel board is perfect here as it allows us to see the entire novel at a glance and your timeline can be rearranged without having to undo a lot of writing. For example, if we wanted to make a change here, we could simply drag and drop. At this stage, I'm going to save these events at a chapter level, but these can be split out or condensed later as the story evolves. Now, 
most people already have a lot of information completed, so it's going to be easiest for you to import your current files. The best way to do this is to select a chapter, say they are saved in Microsoft Word for example. You can simply open a chapter in the novel board, import the writing and save. Now you can see this has been saved to the end of the list and we're going to drag and drop this to the beginning. Also, at any time if you feel you'd like to back up your writing as a Word document or a PDF, you can merge and export. Let's have a quick look at this one here. In this instance, we open a chapter and select Merge. You can select the order of which you'd like to merge the chapters. They will be merged into a new document, which you can then save or export. Here we're selecting first chapter, orientation and external event and merging them together. Then we're going to export them as a single document and that will be saved to my device. Now let's start collating information to refer to throughout the story. And here I can see we've got the novel board, the word processor, if you prefer to write directly in there, the writing templates, character sheets, the image library, and research files. Now we're going to start off by adding some information to our settings or locations. We can add a title, select a book, describe the location, and so on. Once we've saved that, it will be added to our list of templates. Here I've saved the tavern, the castle, and the alleyway. So we've got the details of the locations here. And like we did before with the two tabs open, we're able to switch between our writing so we can click back and check the information in here to ensure it's always consistent. We can also do a similar thing with characters. Here I've got this set at all books, so I can see the characters in all the books. But if I prefer to narrow it down, I can use the filter to select the book I'm currently working on. We can see here I haven't added any characters to this book yet, so let's add one. Here we can upload an image. We'll name this character Ingrid Mallard. She is 27 years old, female, and I'll attach her to the current book and add the other relevant information about her before saving. Then I can see she has been saved to the end of the character list. Like in the other areas of the software, we can change the order of the characters as well. So if we want her to be at the beginning of the list, we can drag and drop her there for easy reference. Character information can also be updated by clicking on their name or on their photo. Now let's go back to writing templates and have a look at events. This time we're going to add a wedding. We'll add the details of what happens at this event so we've got it all stored and easy to reference. As we all know, research is an essential part of novel writing. You can see with what I've added here that I'm going to be able to go in and edit this and store all of the necessary information. I can add hyperlinks, images and so forth so that I can quickly and easily refer to the relevant details while I'm writing my story. Returning to the dashboard again, let's have a quick look at the image library. Here we can add objects, animals, landscapes, whatever is applicable to your book. So you can get a good view in your mind's eye of the intricate details as you write. To add an image, we simply upload and save changes. You can then see the image saved here. And using a filter, we can sort through images if you have a lot of them stored in the library. Now the last two things I'd like to show you in this demonstration are both writing templates. The first is scene summaries. I find this tool to be extremely useful for outlining scenes before writing them. It really helps to provide the clarity of what I'm trying to get across in a particular scene, so my writing doesn't sprawl. Here we complete the details. In which setting does the scene take place? What is the main idea for the scene? And so on. It really gets the author into the right headspace and provides a solid outline for the scene before writing it. 
Lastly, we'll have a look at the synopsis. It's very handy to have this ready for reference. You can fill this out in simple form and update the details as the story evolves. You then have this outline ready to go when your story is complete. Now you can write happily, knowing that all relevant information is there, ready to be referenced whenever needed. Remember you can access from any device, so you don't need to download the software onto a single computer. Each time you log into Novel Suite, you have the choice of going directly to the word processor, or you can work from the Novel Board view. Now, if we were typing directly into the word processor, simply click Save, and I might save this chapter as chapter 10, in Nothing to Fear. Now we've saved that, and it will appear in the Novel Board as part of the story. To drill down further, you can select Scenes, and you can expand on your story there. Now, to add a scene, We'll call this scene one in the first chapter. We'll also add scene two and scene three. Now when you go back to your novel board, you can see that you have three scenes within the chapter. You can then open them up to view them or work on them there. Also, if you'd like to add a note, type it in here and it will be added directly to the book. You can see the number of notes that you have and they will be there ready for reference when you're working from the novel board view. And remember, you can access any of your books here in My Novels, and you can return to the main screen by clicking on the logo. There are tutorials for the program that will refer to each individual section. These can be found on our website or on our YouTube channel under the playlist Tutorials. If you sign up to Novel Suite, it is a good idea to save or bookmark this demonstration video so that you can refer to it if necessary to make sure you are getting the most from your software. Please contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. And in the meantime, happy writing.